Right, so hey guys, and welcome back to another Python tutorial. So in this video, we're going to be learning about how to pretty much beautify our website or make it look pretty using CSS. So for this, we're going to be learning about a new method of rendering or um, pointing out to pretty much static files instead of using the static folder method that we have been using. So that's the proper, me proper method of doing it, which is why I'm going to be introducing it to you guys in this tutorial. First off, I'm going to go ahead and open up Visual Studio Code. And bear in mind guys, if you haven't already watched my series on this from scratch, I really recommend you go ahead and watch the few videos before this because that will make really sense as this video will be in line with those tutorials. So in the previous tutorials, we kind of worked on this um, dummy store that we were creating using Flask. So that's what we're going to be working on today. And we're going to be using um, CSS to make it look pretty. So in the last tutorial, we learned about how we could use um, blocks um, to pretty much use parent and child classes to allow the use of a layout template. Today I'm going to make the use of this file a lot more relevant and how it is more useful than it was in the last tutorial. So first off, as I said before, we're going to be learning about the proper way of rendering out or pointing to uh, static files. So by default or by documentation wise, this um, static folder that we've mentioned right here in our Flask initialization is set to a folder called static. So instead of having to do this, let's go with the default behavior. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is in my app.py, since I've specified and changed my st static folder to images, I've only now realized that instead of only having images, I'm also going to have static files such as JavaScript files and some of my CSS files too. So I can't store that all in an images folder because that just doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna go, what I'm going to go ahead and do is delete this off. And once I delete this off, what happens is that my static folder by default is going to be a folder called static. So what I'm going to do is go in my um, editor section right here and then create a new folder, not in templates, but in my main directory, I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. And I'm going to call that folder static. Now in my static folder, I'm going to put all the static stuff. So my images that are static to this website, are going to go in this, I'm going to drag it in my static folder and move it in there. So as you see right here, so I've got my static folder and then in my static folder, I've got images. So static folder and in the static folder, there's images. Cool. So in my static folder, I'm also going to have another new folder that's going to be called um, styles. So in my styles folder, I'm going to be storing the um, different style sheets that I'm going to be using or the CSS um, style sheets that I'm going to be using. So let's go ahead and type create a new CSS file by typing in main.css which is going to pretty much include the main styling for my website. Now we'll come back to that file a bit later. So as of now, if I run my server, so if I go to cmd cd, let me zoom in a bit, cd desktop cd my website because that's where my app.py file is and then if I do I'm going to enable debugging so that we don't have to keep restarting the server and then I'm going to run my server. Now let's go ahead and quickly open up a Chrome window and let's go localhost 5000 because that's where my website's being hosted. So as you see right here, um, if you refresh the first time due to the fact that um, Flask works with a cache um, that is being used by Chrome a lot, you might be able to see that your images load up just fine. But then you, what you want to do is every time you refresh your website, make sure you're hard refreshing it by um, pressing Control first and then F5. So you need to press Control first and then F5 to hard refresh, which pretty much resets the cache as well. So all the recent changes will show up rather than it being um, the website being stored in the cache and showing you an out of date version. So make sure you press Control plus F5 and then you'll notice that your images have disappeared. Now this is because we changed the we have taken off the static folder name from being the images folder. So we can deal with that problem quite easily. Now, as I said before, the proper way of doing this is by using URL4, which is a class that already exists at Flask. So I'm gonna go in my app app underscore blueprint file, which pretty much includes the different routes to my so I'm gonna control B there. It includes the different routes, so my home routes my about page root and my contact root and it also uh, includes the rendering of my files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from flask import blueprint render template and I'm also going to import URL4 which is another class we're going to be using to point to our directories or the files that we want. So 
Once I'm done with that, I'm done with my app.blueprint app underscore blueprint file, I can close that off. Now let's go back to my file explorer. And in my templates, I'm going to go in my index.html because that's the main website showing all our featured products. So our featured products, right now the images link is broken. That's mainly because we are trying to access this product.img, which is a IMG is just the property of our product dictionary, which is coming from here. So if I open this, it's coming from popular products and it's running through all of these different key key value pairs and then it's getting the img key um key value so the value is pretty much the directory so forward slash images forward slash images dot jfif so it pretty much gets that so i'm gonna close that off since i explained that now since that doesn't work out very well since we changed the we got rid of the static folder being custom what we need to do is in this code block we're going to type in url4 now this is due to best practice so url underscore 4 the class that we just imported two brackets then in here we want to type in our first argument to be um, in double quotes static and then the second argument is going to be the file name so now the first argument is static because we're saying use the static um, folder now don't change this to anything else because it won't work by default it just looks for um, what the static folder has been set to since we haven't set it to anything it just looks for the static folder which is right here so now if I set the file name I'm going to go ahead and type in the file name of my image now as I said it's hunting it from product and then it is going to do product.img which will give it the image address since this is running through a loop now hopefully this works first time let's make sure everything's in there it looks fine let's go ahead and refresh our page so if i go back in my store and my hard refresh as you see right here that has worked out completely fine now you may have noticed that every time you're linking a new um, item such as a hyperlink or an image you would have to use url4 because since we are not using a specific specific folder being made public so it's a lot better than doing that so that's how you do that and now to the actual bit of making our website look prettier by linking a CSS file to it. So to link a CSS file, <clears throat> what we need to do is, as you notice here, we don't really have a head section. So the head section is where the CSS file would usually be stored. Now we don't have a head section because obviously we are inheriting that from the layouts.html page, as that is the basic layout followed by all websites. So we're gonna use that. So layout.html is where this is being inherited from. What we're going to do in the head section is go ahead and import a CSS file. Now this CSS file is going to be importing pretty much all the child elements that extend the layout.html file. Since if I open here, it says extends layout.html, it's going to have the CSS file. So every file that says that. So I'm going to go ahead and type in a link tag. So link rel equals style sheet um, type equals text forward slash CSS and then href equals now in the href you need to specify the um, directory to where you can find your spot uh, find your style sheet so your style sheet is going to be found um, your style sheet is going to be found in your static folder and when you go in your static folder you have another folder called styles so you're going to do a forward slash styles oops styles and then you're going to do a forward slash and um, call the main style sheet which is i am assuming main dot yeah it is main dot css so i'm going to type in main dot css in here and this should just load up the style sheet on pretty much all the websites that all the website files that we have now let's make sure it's doing that by minimizing this and hard refreshing so control f5 now let's um, zoom in a bit here i'm going to right click and inspect and we, if we go to the head section as you see right here we have link um, rel equals style sheet text css and the href is styles and main.css now there are a few errors here <clears throat> This is for our main.css, so it wasn't able to load it for some reason. Let's go ahead and see why it wasn't. Main.css. I might have spelt something wrong or it's just not refreshed, I'm assuming. Okay, let's try and re restart our Flask server. So let's do that. And then let's refresh. 
Okay, it's still not able to grab the CSS file. Let's go ahead and see why. Maybe we need to add some content to the CSS file. So I'm gonna go ahead and add something in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a H1 tag. Oops, where am I tabbing in? What's this? Get rid of that. I'm going to go in my styles and in my main.css and I'm gonna set properties for my H1, H2, H3, H4 and H5 tags. So all of these tags are going to have a font family of um, Arial and then they're going to be colored in black. Cool. So if these properties are applied to pretty much all these header tags, that means it's working. Let's refresh and clearly it is not working. So let's go ahead and see why that's happening. Um, styles. So if I go back to my layout.html and okay, so Clearly I have forgotten to use URL4. So this is the main issue. Every time you're linking any file right now, you're gonna to have to use URL4 so that the um, so that it recognizes the URL we're going for. So in here we're gonna go ahead and add a code block by doing double curly braces and then we're gonna do URL underscore four with a bracket in the start and a bracket in the end. And we're following the same syntax. So the static folder is still called static. And then we're going to do comma file name oops file name equals and then we do not need speech marks yes we do need speech marks but single quotes actually so we need single quotes since this is not like a declared variable so let's save this up um refresh our page and it's still not found it for some reason let's go ahead and see why that is so it's still pointing towards the right address so url4 um, static file name equals forward slash styles main dot CSS. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and refresh our server. Gonna do this flask run refresh, and it is still not able to find it. Let's go ahead and see what we've done wrong. Let's see. So I've got my static folder. Uh, I've got my static images and then we've got the static. Oh, I see. So what's going on in here is my static folder, the uh, the styles folder is technically being placed inside the images folder for some reason. So I need to move that out and I need to move that in my static folder. So move that there. And as you see now, these two folders, so images and styles are in the static folder. Before that, the styles folder was in the images folder for some reason. Let's go ahead and hard refresh now. And as you see right here, the error has disappeared and my website text. So all of the text that had H1 to H5 has changed to the right font. Apart from, I'm assuming a specific. Yeah, so this is a P tag. That's why it hasn't changed. So we can change that too by going ahead in our code, in our style sheet. So we can go in our main.css and do a comma P. And now if I refresh, the price has changed as well cool so i mean the discounted rate has changed as well cool so let's add a few more basic changes to the styling let's go ahead and do um body and for the body we're going to do background color of let's just do gray light gray let's do light gray and then i'm going to do the that should be fine let's go ahead and refresh so we've got a little bit of a change we've got a sort of um, light gray background going and then we have our different products here now you can make different CSS changes in here to any element you have on your different websites because this style sheet right here will be imported into pretty much all your websites so including about and contact us so if I do forward slash about it will show me that and as you see the changes have been applied so the CSS is being applied and then if I do forward slash contact the same applies here so as you see the changes have been applied background is gray and the font is being changed as well so that is working perfectly fine that is the main advantage of actually using a template because now we don't have to import the CSS file separately in all the files we just do it once in this layout.html file so it's quite basic and simple.
Right, so that was the end for today's tutorial guys, hope you have been enjoying this entire series. I'm really sorry about the miss on the upload yesterday, but you probably did not realise anyway since this is not the biggest YouTube channel in the world. Once again guys, thanks for all the support you've been showing me in the recent tutorials. If you guys have any new ideas on future tutorials, drop them in the community tab under my post. If you guys would, guys would directly like to support the channel, you can do so by either purchasing a super chat emoji or a highlighted message when this video premieres, or you can also sign up as a patron using the Patreon link in the description, as this really helps the channel grow. Um, you can also consider following up my socials and joining the Discord chat for a lot of fun. And as always guys, I will see your beautiful faces with another Flask tutorial um, in the next video. Peace!